guys welcome back to another nursing vlog today is friday i just woke up as you can tell i look like a hot mess so i'm gonna get myself ready for the day no. <laughs> what do you mean no because that's my mom my dad said no your his dad said no <laughs> what a goofball Amelia lost another one of her baby teeth last yeah. night. Let me show you. Right. Hang on, Mia. Hang yeah. on, it's gotta focus. Yeah. 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 Now Zaya wants to show you guys his teeth. Let's see those teethers. Let's see those little titties. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Let me see. No, you still got all your teethers in there. Coffee time. Hey, hey, hey. I am a this guy. I'm a little bit of something today. I brought my lunch, but you have a little bit of something. That means you get one thing from the cafeteria. I'm getting ice cream. Ice cream, yay! Hey, put these dirty clothes that are on the table in your laundry basket. Put your dirty clothes in your laundry basket. Put you, Amelia, you're being a goofball. Please and thank you. Time for mom to get ready. Black scrub pants, my black scrub jacket, and it's Friday, so I'm gonna wear my work t-shirt that we can wear, my watch. And that's the outfit for the day. Can I take this corner? Wait, can I take this corner? Alright, we're going to do a half quarter tail. Okay. Mm. Uh oh. Why is this Because don't open it. They're mommies. Leftover? Yep, leftover ones. And can I use them? Maybe another time, but not right now, so don't open it. Wait, you have to get the stuff later to make my... We'll see if I can. It wasn't a guarantee. We'll see. Okay, I'm all ready for work. Meals is all ready for school. We packed her lunch last night as she requested. Mirror hair. Mirror morning hair. <laughs> we still look no. handsome. <laughs> I'm gonna finish making my coffee and get out the door. What? Okay. Molly's gotta go to work. I love you. Isaiah had pneumonia this week. But he's feeling a lot better. Speaking of which, I have to take my antibiotic because I also had a... You medicine? Yeah, I gotta take my medicine too. That's okay, I could do it. I don't get water. No, I'm not scared. Can you scared? <laughs> I just pop it in my mouth. That's good. Is it good? No, it doesn't taste good. You just gotta do it. Make you feel better. All right, meals is all ready for school. Mm -hmm. Yay! And let me get my stuff. She's got a friend coming over tonight. Ah! Isaiah! Ah! Hey! These kids, I tell you. Uh, excuse me, Isaiah, get it. The dog's gonna get it. Cody, yeah. drop it. Cody, get it, meow. No. Stop being naughty. 
Well, as you can see, it's snowing here. All right, I'm just waiting for my car to warm up a little. And for my windshield to melt. It's 13 degrees outside, so it's freezing. And then, of course, I'm running late. So this morning, while I wait for, I'll talk to you guys while I wait for my ice to melt off my windshield. I don't have an ice scraper. Um, this morning I'm gonna be with one of the doctors covering for one of the nurses who has an appointment this morning. And then in the afternoon I should be at triage. So, should be a pretty good day. I'm not sure, this morning might be really busy because like I said, I'm with a different provider helping. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can, but um, sometimes when I get wrapped up in my work, it's hard to remember to pick up the camera. Um, but I'll, I'll do my best this morning. Okay. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee before we go in, so I'm kind of awake. My secret Santa, Jenna, this year got me this cute little mug. Okay. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. Okay, it's lunchtime. I've been doing really good all week bringing my lunch, but it's Friday and I didn't buy enough salads to last me the week because I buy those pre made ones from Aldi's. So we're going home. So this morning went really good. Um, the provider I was working with, everything went smooth, everything went fine. Um, just checking my triage for myself, the covering, the nurse I'm covering for this morning's triage, and then another one of our nurses was sick out, so I was I had hers up as well. So kind of going into three different triages, checking everything. Um, my best advice for triage, if you guys are an office nurse like me or just starting out or that's what you want to do, is do what you can do. There is no way you're going to get everything done. Um, triage is always going to be there. Triage is all about prioritizing what has to be done right now. What can wait till this afternoon? What can wait till next week, especially on a Friday? So just doing what you can, especially if you are, I mean, having to go into three different people's triages, it's a lot of work and it can be overwhelming and you'll get there. So don't feel like you have to get everything done. Um, that's just my, my mindset when I'm on triage, I guess. Other than that, the day's been pretty good, so I'm back up front with the front staff um, to working on... This afternoon, my plan is to work on prior auths, and I got a new binder for immunizations because I'm the vaccine girl at my office. So our nurse or our office manager bought me a new binder with new tabs, and I'm really excited about it because you guys know I love to organize. So I'm going to go through our old binder that's falling apart and really, really old, and I cannot wait to reorganize this one. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this afternoon at work. Um, oh my God, it's cold. It's so cold out. Hi, Cody. Where are you guys going? Yeah. My boys? Going to Ab's house. You're going to see Uncle Ab? Yeah? Are you excited? 
Okay, drive safe. You look so cute, Zay Zay. That'll be fun. You, you gonna go hang out? Yeah. Nice. Yay, Zaya! So we had chicken wings last night and I, um, I just ate the leftovers. There was like four garlic parmesan chicken wings left in our fridge. So delicious. So that's what I had for lunch. Um, real quick, I just wanna talk to you guys. If you follow my vlogs for a while now, um, I've been talking a little bit about my mom and that she has been having health issues and it takes up a lot of my time. But I've been keeping that portion out mostly of my vlogs and not giving too much detail as to what is wrong with my mom um, to respect her privacy, obviously. But um, we are going public with her diagnosis because we want to advocate for um, her disease. So my mom has ALS. She was diagnosed in uh, spring, June of 2019, which is when you guys might have heard me starting to talk about. I had a really awful week and I think I had mentioned it in one of the vlogs back then and from there. Going with her to doctor's appointments, talking to her, she has not wanted to be on camera up to this point because, you know, it's she can't talk, first of all. Um, the disease, that you basically get trapped inside your body, which is slowly becoming paralyzed and your muscles don't work anymore and cognitively you're still the same person you have been. I know that a couple years ago there was like an ice bucket challenge that I took part in even myself but even then I didn't know the magnitude that ALS would have on my life. So my mom as you guys know lives across the street. She does live by herself still and is still trying to be as independent as she can. Um, for a long time she had a port put in and I was doing infusions over at her house where I hung IVs for her for 10 straight days in a row and pumped medication into her but it wasn't helping and we recently just took her off of that. As of right now she's stable. Like I said she has lost pretty much all speech. Her leg movement isn't great. She you know can't really walk anymore. She can take a couple steps here and there and her house is pretty small. Um, you know, it takes her an hour, hour and a half to eat her breakfast. Um, her facial mu muscles are really weak. It's just a really devastating disease and it sucks that I even have to talk about it. <clears throat> um, but from here on out, we are going to be more open with it. And I am going to try to link some um, things down below because with ALS, there is no cure. It's supposed, supposedly a fatal, fatal disease, not supposedly, but it is a fatal disease between two to five years, um, generally speaking, two to five years. So my mom's had it for probably a little over a year, year and a half now. Um, and obviously we, we have seen her progressing. So there is a medication called Neuron out there that could help my mom, but um, it's not available to the public. It's still in clinical trial and it just really sucks that there is a medication available, that there have been success stories of people, um, you, you know, the side effects uh, almost reversing on this and it's not available yet because of the uh, FDA. So I'm going to put some petitions down below and I don't want to pressure anyone or be annoying or anything like that but if you guys could take a second even after this video is done and just go to the description box and click on it. It takes two seconds. You just click sign and the petition is signed and it'll help move forward in Congress hopefully so that this can get um, approved before it's too late because like I said this is a fast rapid uh, progressing disease and it just really sucks and it's, it's my mom you know it's so uh, I think I'm going to take my camera with us this week on Wednesday and I'm going to show you guys what it's like to take my mom to the ALS clinic and I think she's okay with being on camera now so we're going to get more in depth with it but thank you so much to everyone who sent love and prayers and you know you didn't know what was going on because I was keeping most everyone in the dark but I did have a lot of outreach because people who have been following me know that there was something wrong with my mom. So I just want to um, give you guys thanks and let you know what is now going on with my mom. So uh, I'm going to chill here for a little bit. Amir and Isaiah just left for his friend's house. They're going to go hang out there. Little boys stay out which is nice. 
So I get the house to myself, which rarely happens. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna snack on a couple things, drink some water here, and then probably head back to work. My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. from Burn Dairy, my favorite place to order pizzas. And Amelia's friend, her mom just contacted me that she's gonna be dropped off soon. So we'll go there and then we'll go surprise the girls with some goodies for their little play date and just have a relaxing night with the kids. It's so crazy to me still to think that Amelia is at the age where like her school friends are coming over, you know? Or she's having sleepovers and stuff like that. Um, but I'm excited for her because that is exciting. Maya, Maya. Maya. I got pizza and I got stuff to make that candy thing. Yeah. Is that a camera? It's a camera. She has a YouTube channel. It is a camera. Can you can see. So no. you've never seen Maya before because. She... <laughs> what are we doing, Daddy Mir? Cooking the sirloin steak here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that it was just the a little The household, you know. <laughs> only the finest. $14.99 special at tops. We have the, the best of the best here. <laughs> so that's the little peas. This is the real steak over here. And I don't know if we've ever cooked steak because we don't usually get steak, but we're trying to figure out how to make it not so rare on the inside. Hi, Cody. You bet you want some of that, don't you? Don't ya? This is the dessert that girls want to make. This is the book that Amelia got out of the library. It's like a brick. It's not a book. It's a Hershey's chocolate recipe book, of course. So I told Amelia she could pick one recipe out of this book for us to make, and this is what she chose. Looks pretty easy. I'm not gonna really do what this says. We're just gonna wing it. So I got some candy bars. We're gonna make like mini versions of this. Um, we're gonna put some ice cream in it, add M&M's on top. Oops, you okay? You sure? Yeah. Maya's trying to roller skate. And, and we're just waiting for dinner. I think we nailed it. What do you think, Mia? Yeah, I think we nailed it. Maya's is over there. Maya's coming to help Zay fill M&M's. Nailed it! So I don't know what I've been doing with my life for the past like three hours or whatever time I put down the camera, but um, I just haven't vlogged the rest of this day. So Amelia had fun with her friend. 
Um, neither of the girls ate any pizza because they were just too excited and having fun. But we did make like a little candy thing as you guys saw, which didn't turn out well, but they enjoyed eating it. <laughs> And other than that, I pretty much cleaned up the house as usual because you guys know I can't relax until the house is clean and spent two hours of my life putting my children down for bed, which is pretty usual. And now I'm laying in my room uh, about to turn on the TV and Cody over here next to me, I'm sure he'll get up on the bed soon because... Amir is out with his friends for the night, enjoying himself, which I'm excited for him. I hope he has fun. Um, but usually as soon as Amir, as Amir is out of the house, Cody thinks he's the man of the bed and gets up here with me, which I don't really mind. I like sleeping with Cody. Um, other than that, it's pretty much it, you guys. So tomorrow, Amelia's got dance in the morning. We've got a long week ahead of us. And yeah, I plan on making hopefully a video this weekend, answering some questions for you guys, and then vlogging Wednesday, like I had mentioned earlier, with my mom, which I'm so excited about, and I am very relieved and happy, but also a little bit sad that I even have to make a video like this where I talk about, you know, what's going on with my mom. But I'm glad that it's finally out there and you guys know, and, um, yeah. <laughs> I guess you guys can follow me on Instagram, which is always linked down below in the description for updates on my family life, my nurse life, and, of course, things going on with my mom. Um... <laughs> I literally cannot get rid of this cold. I hate sounding stuffy. I sound stuffy literally all the time now. I feel like it just won't go away. Okay, you guys. I'm going to watch um, Spinning Out on YouTube. I have watched everything on YouTube. No, on Netflix. I have watched everything on Netflix. I feel like <sighs> I'm running out of options. And I feel like... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but... Um... It just seems like all the good shows on Netflix, like, I, I feel like they should make them, um, like, all the, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, so that the seasons, like, at least you have some new season to watch of something that's good. Right now, there's no new seasons of anything that is good on Netflix. Like, they all... I've watched them all, and there's no new anything, even ones that I feel like I watched a year ago. <laughs> Like Sabrina. Like, there's still no new Sabrina's out. Anyways, done venting to you guys. I've been watching Spinning Out, which is a Netflix original about ice skating, which I didn't think I was going to like, but um, I'm, I'm into it, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to turn that on and probably fall asleep here soon. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Click that subscribe button for more videos like this, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Mwah. Bye. Stumbling out of bed, and I still got you in my head. From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted.